Have you just picked up a Webigo anywhere, or are you thinking about getting one? Then stick around because in this video, we're gonna take an in-depth look at it. We're gonna go through a few different setups and we'll have a look at some different accessories too. So we'll get started by having a look at the barbecue on its own without any of the accessories. Right, so once you've got it out of the box, if you've bought one new and built it, you'll be able to fold the legs over the lid like this so you can pick it up like so. There's a couple of notches next to the lid vents on either side where the legs will sit so they don't fold back over when you're transporting it. And then to stand it up, we're just gonna pull our legs up and over. And then you obviously can't lift it by the lid anymore. So you're gonna lift it by the side handles, get these legs under, and you wanna get them under again even further. And then you've got this little bracket here that comes up and over and locks the two legs in place so they can't come apart. So you've obviously got your lid vents here and here. So we'll take our lid off and now we've got our cooking grate. This one's been cut down just so it's a bit easier when we're smoking if we need to top up charcoal. And then we've got a charcoal grate down below. And then down here, we've got our bottom vents. We've got one on each side and they just slide up and down. So obviously that's closed, open, or you can just close off one side or you can just have it a touch open. However you wanna set it up for whatever style of cooking you're using, this is how we're gonna control our temperature. So let's say I wanted to grill something hot and fast. I would open up both of our vents. I'd dump a bunch of red hot charcoal over our charcoal grate. I'd put our cooking grate on and then you've got that whole surface area to grill with. But if I wanted to go for more of a smoking setup, let's say we reverse searing a steak. My steak is gonna be over here. I'm gonna dump my charcoal over here. I would close down this half of our vent on both sides. I'll lift this steak up so you can see. So we're completely closed here and we're open here. So like I said, you dump your charcoal or your briquettes over this side so your steak or whatever you're cooking is indirect to your fire source. You put your smoking wood on and then we'd put our lid on and open up our vent on whatever side your steak or whatever you're cooking is on. And that way the airflow is gonna come through here. It's gonna fuel the briquettes or the charcoal you're using. Your smoking wood's gonna be smoldering away because this vent's closed, it's gonna force that heat and smoke through here, through whatever you're cooking over here and out through this lid vent. So obviously with that last setup we showed you, with that steak, once it's done smoking, you'd take your steak out, give it a rest, and then you'd dump a bunch of fresh charcoal or briquettes in there and then convert to that first setup we had to finish it off with a sear. Now to set up for a long smoke in a standard Webigo Anywhere without any accessories can be a bit challenging because there's not much room to work with, but Accessories can get us around that problem, so let's have a look at a few. All right, so we'll take our lid off, and to give you a bit more room, you can buy a riser, and they just slot in like so, and then you can put your cooking grate up the top here, and then you've got all that room between your fire source and your cooking grate. Now, the risers do come in a few different heights depending on what style of cooking you wanna do, but as you can imagine, if you've set up a snake or the minion method down the bottom here, you're still gonna be copying a bit of direct heat on whatever you're cooking on your cooking grate level. So to get around that problem, you can put in a heat deflector, and that just slots in on your second level like so, and that's gonna stop any direct heat getting to whatever you're cooking up here. So let's say we were smoking a rack of beef ribs or a little brisket, we'd have our lid on, I'd have these top vents open, and then I'd be adjusting our airflow, which will control our temperature with our bottom vents only. And for a smoking setup, I'd have both sides just to crack open. Now you've got to remember with this setup, you've only got about that much height to work with. So if anything is taller, it's going to be hitting the lid. So to get around that, you can always just drop your cooking grate, to the same level as what the diffuser plate is on. And then now, as you can see, you've got all that room to work with. So you can get a nice big pork butt in there if you wanted to. So the other thing you can do with these risers is take this bolt out, you remove them on both sides, and then you can buy a rotisserie kit. And that comes with a bracket and a battery powered motor, obviously your rod, and you can have a little rotisserie going in here. We've got the charcoal baskets for it, which slot in either side just like so, and then you fill up your briquettes or your charcoal either side, and then you've got enough room for any drips or a little drip tray to catch anything from what you're cooking. So the next accessory we're gonna look at is the offset plate. Now this gives you a similar setup as to what we went through earlier in the video if you were to reverse sear a steak, but I'm gonna show you why this is a better option. So let's take our lid off and then we'll get our offset plate in and we'll chuck our cooking grate on too. Now we'll chuck this steak back on just for a demonstration. So as you can imagine, without that solid angle plate there, we would be getting a little bit of direct heat on our steak or whatever you're cooking over this side. And having the solid plate underneath directs all of the air up through our charcoal or briquettes, whatever you're using, over and through our steak a bit better. And the other thing I love about this particular brand is the offset plate is adjustable. So 
You can slide this back and forth to increase the amount of charcoal you can put in, which will obviously give you a longer cook time. And also by having that solid plate there, it obviously stops any charcoal or briquettes falling over and potentially under whatever you're cooking. And that's why I think the offset plate is a great option. And the last accessory we're gonna look at in this video is a hot plate. Now you can mix and match these. You can get a full solid one if you want. You can get a double steak one, but we absolutely love the 50-50. You can do a steak on here, or these are perfect for smash burgers on the solid plate. So just another nice, quick, simple accessory that will increase the versatility of your Weber Go Anywhere. Now for everything we've used in the video, I'll put a link down in the video description for you to check out if you wanted to. And a few of you are probably wondering about the wooden handles. Now this Webigo Anywhere came with the plastic handles like you see here, but there are a few places you can get some custom wood handles made up. And again, I'll put a link down in the description if you did want to check them out too. Now quite a few of you have been requesting Weber GA videos, so stay tuned because I'm going to be doing a bunch of them using different cooking methods, cooking different things. So keep an eye out for them and make sure you've subscribed to our channel so you get notified when they come out. But for now, that's the end of this video. If you've got any questions, don't hesitate to ask them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.